So the real, real simple one, like when people are preparing themselves for a heavy lift, they, by the time you're testing for a heavy lift, you're not really going to improve at the movement anymore. That's why you say all the coaching's done at that point. All the coaching's done at that point. It's just about the tests. And if you're constantly thinking about all the little nuanced things that should be pretty well ingrained at by the time testing is, you, you get in your head too much and you over, over, overthink it. So I think um, Sunny Webster yeah. Yeah, mentioned it and it really resonated with me and has helped a lot of people. But just when it's time to lift, start counting down. Doesn't matter like where you can down from. I, I tell people like seven, can down from seven, just a random number. Like oh, we had seven, but I'm one you lift. Yeah. So seven, six, five, one you lift. I, I used to have a consistent. Brendan Clark used to. Be, I used to have a consistent rest walk. Yeah. So it'd be like, say if I'm going two meters away from the wall and I put my bar down, I would walk, I would touch the wall, I would walk back and I'd pick it up. A lot of it is is goal dependent. Like, what does the next level of fitness actually mean to you? If that just means that you do want to perform better like we're obviously Kath trains here so if we can assume that Kath just wants to get a little bit stronger and improve her times and her metcons and feel a little bit more comfortable then at the crux of things it comes down to adhering to the progressive overload principle so as she's progressing week by week we need to ensure that she's trying to lift a little bit heavier She's trying to push her pace a little bit more and that added little bit of extra stress that we're adding onto her is gonna cause her to adapt to that, which will take her over time to the next level. But that all comes down to being consistent and it may mean taking a look at her nutrition and making some improvements there, how she manages her recovery. There are, there are like, to get better as an athlete, there are a lot of things that go into it, but the progressive overload principle is an overarching thing that you need to adhere to to get better at anything Let's fire away. Yeah. Uh, straight off the bat, one from Zoe. Has James gotten more gains than Sean, or is it just me? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, just, it's just you, Zoe. <laughs> it's because Sean's trying to be a boxer now. I'm trying he, to lose. He, he's not, he needs to lose all his weight. I think it's my camera angles. It, listen, I'm just. Yeah. I think so it's a medium the, shirt. The, the, camera, the camera, what is it, like, adds like five pounds. It adds five pounds lean muscle mass to me. But not sure. <laughs> I puff myself up. 